welcome to the Vicks Blend. Hello. Uh, Michelle, back Hi. again. I'm back again. You are back again. More I, wine. We're good. <laughs> I promised um, last time when I was trialling the Orange Sauvignon Blanc uh, that we were going to have a Trans Hasman duel between Australia and New Zealand. And uh, I'm wearing black because I actually think it's going to be really tough to beat New Zealand, so I want to hedge my bets. But to be patriotic, because I am an Aussie. I'm wearing my Aussie scarf. So there we go. Australia versus New Zealand. Here we go. Now, we've got a, a classic Australian Sauvignon Blanc, which um, I have chosen here, which is a Wix Estate Sauvignon Blanc, and uh, from the Adelaide Hills, 2017. Uh, now, I think these guys in the whole region produce um, some really good quality whites. Uh, I have to say, you know, I haven't got overly excited about the Sav Blancs, uh, but they are really well-made wines. And I know uh, people who really enjoy them. So um, they're rated and they uh, do very well on the international stage. So there's the Australian, okay, a classic. And uh, punch as well. So if you're going into a World Cup um, of one, uh, like you would the World Cup of Rugby, this is a good blend to take in with you. All right. All right. Now, we are going to take in from New Zealand. Here they come. It's not an all black. Yo, it's Maria. the Villa My Maria. Favorite. Your favourite. Yeah. And uh, look, I know um, both Michelle and I really enjoyed. I found it really hard to leave Villa Maria. Yeah. We stayed there for oh, a long time. Great amount of time. <laughs> it involved coffee between sessions yeah. because it was such good quality wine. Um, look, you know, they've been bought out and, um, you know, some of their, their more commercial varieties that we tend to see in Australia uh, don't excite me as much as the, uh, the blends and the... Uh, the wines that I tried in New Zealand, and you've got to work harder to find them here. Um, they're doing a lot of, um, you know, uh, multi-vineyard blends now. Um, you know, they've got the luxury of being able to do that, which sometimes really works well, uh, being able to have a, a multi-vineyard blend. Uh, I, I still am a big fan of the, the single vineyard blends. Um, I, I like, oh, I don't know, I, I like what it means to come from a single vineyard. All the characters are clear and fresh and, and you know what you're drinking. Whereas with a, with a, with a, a multi-vineyard blend, you, you tend to have this sometimes confusion between palates. Um, and if you do get the blend right, then you're not sure which is from which and you couldn't really tell. And they do work. Some of them are beautiful drinking. In fact, I think Villa Maria do some beautiful drinking uh, multi-vineyard blends. Anyway, enough about that. Um, the third, now this is one we've already reviewed and it's the wild card in all this. This is the Outsider. It's another Aussie wine. And this is the Philip Shaw number 19. Uh, so Michelle, we both enjoyed this, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Good. Yeah, and, and before we even try the New Zealand, um, you know, how would you rate it um, in terms of competitiveness uh, coming into this battle? Oh, it was a really easy, crisp drinking white Sauvignon Blanc. I'd buy it again, and and yet I don't buy a lot of non-New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs. So, yeah, I'd, I'd buy it again if I found it. To okay, with. but if you were a betting woman, which I know you're not, uh, and you had to bet the um, the orange uh, Cool Merlou mm. uh, vineyard wine against the Villa Maria. Um, you know, uh, which would you back? Oh, the Villa Maria. The Villa Maria, that's right, so would I. But you know what? I have brought with me this, a green and gold cap. Now, if, if Michelle believes that the uh, wine from Orange beats the Villa Maria, I'm going to wear this okay. for the rest of the video, okay? Okay. Deal? All right. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who I'm backing What now. about the Sav Blanc from Adelaide Hills? Well, okay. Now, if that wins, I'll wear this as well. Okay. Um, and in fact, you know, I'd, I'd be delighted if the, uh, the Adelaide Hills wins uh, because it would prove me wrong about everything I just said about Australian Sav Blancs. Okay. Um, all right, Let's so here we go. Are we ready? It. Okay, okay. So what are we going to start with first? The you... Marlborough. The Marlborough. Okay, we're going to go at the big guns first. So the um, Kiwis are coming out. Villa Maria. Blasting. Here's okay. the Villa Maria. I'm going to try some too. We're going to have a look at the, mm. the nose on it. Wow, straight away, isn't it? Ah, yeah. oh, gorgeous. It's got that flavour. That flavour. It's got flavour. <laughs> That's a technical term. Mm. Beautiful bouquet. Mm. Crisp, fresh. Yeah, mm. grass. Yeah, I like grassy that. overtones. Yeah. Peach, maybe? A little bit. Peach fruit. Oh, look, beautiful. Yep. Everything that I've come to love about the Villa Maria wines. Um, now, I should tell you uh, that this was one of the um, private bins. So it was better than average, I guess you'd say. So 
So you've got the passion fruit flavour coming through that one. You do, yeah. you do. Okay, all right, that's good. Which is all I want. That's the, I think that's what I like. I like the passion fruit. Yeah. Whereas some people may not like that. So, whereas I love that strong passion fruit. It is flavor. a really strong passion yeah. fruit flavour, which okay. is, which is really enjoyable. If you weren't having this with a meal or yeah. with um, cheese or anything, yeah. this you could it's drink really nice all flavor. day, no problem. Yeah. Don't do it though. Very bad for your health to drink it all day, but you could. Just saying. All right, we're going to cleanse our palates a little bit here so we don't get confusion. Maybe even a little bit of cheese just to keep things even. Okay, here comes the cheese. All right, so who's the brave Australian coming up to bat? Adelaide Hills. Adelaide Hills, all right, you can do the honours. A little bit of Adelaide Hills. Oh, it's tough doing these reviews. Mm. <laughs> I say this every edition, but any winemakers out there that want us to try their wines and review them, send us a bottle. Very Love happy that. to review your wines. We're very happy. We would be. Mm. We're very, very positive people. So you get a good result, I would say. And the, if we don't say a lot, it won't be critical. Okay. Here we go. Oh, completely different, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Bouquet, very different. Very pleasant, though. Oh, look, that's that's that big, big body for a white. Yeah, it does have that. That you expect from an Australian Sav Blanc. And it has got that more fruity, tropical fruit flavour. Yeah, definitely. Very different, distinct from the passion fruit, grassy. Yeah, well, look, it does have that grassy flavour to it, but it's a little bit harsher, isn't it? A little bit more acidic. Yeah. Um, still, look, really still enjoyable. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'd be really happy drinking that. I think I think I'd enjoy it more with a meal. I think a yeah. fish meal, particularly, would just yeah, actually, yeah. would just promote. I think that the strong flavours behind it. Uh, and and look, I, I must say, I personally, I. I I think the Villa Marie is ahead, mm. just for just for ease of drinking, for for the, the the beautiful palette and the finish. But I tell you what, well done, Wicks Estate. This is a good wine, and I would be very pleased um, to drink that at any table. So good. All right, are we ready to go on? Sure. You got anything else you want to say about no. that one? I agree. A little bit of water, cleanse the palates off. A little bit of cheese. Just so that it's all even, Stevens. Same finish on the palate. Alright. Well, back to our Philip Shaw, number 19, from Orange. Very underrated little wine region west of Sydney. High altitude. Uh, it's on the Great Dividing Range, so it's got some uh, interesting soils because of that as well. Some volcanic regions out there. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Come on, Australia. Mm. You almost feel it. You can almost smell a bit of a woody, a mm. woody um, bouquet this time around. And this is the second time I've reviewed this. I don't think I picked it up in the first time. Mm. Mm. Oh, look, I really enjoy this. It's it's a solid wine. It's interesting. The bouquet change. Sorry, the the palate changed with the cheese. Um, yeah, I think it has. Interesting, isn't it? More, is it more grassy? Yeah, almost has that little bit it of a Chardonnay open. flavor to it. Mm. Mm. Without yeah. the brutal kick. I think it's still very drinkable. Very. Oh yeah. Easy to drink. Oh, it's great. Still doesn't have that really distinct mm. flavour, or but like you in the Adelaide Hills, you got that sort of fruity, mm. tropical sort of fruity flavour. Mm. In the Villa Maria, you got the passion fruit flavour, sort of mm. crisp. Mm. And this wine has got a very subtle. It's not as distinct. Yeah, so it may it? be mm. really good with a meal because you don't have. Yeah, maybe. I, I kind of think that in some ways this is the kind of drop a bit like the Villa Marie you could have it without any food yeah, yeah. because well, it finishes so nicely like it's got a nice finish to it it doesn't have 
it doesn't have any aftertaste or mm. it doesn't leave your palate feeling yeah, no acidic. Aftertaste. Yeah, no, no, it's really good. Mm. Okay, Very so here we go. We could give them a rating. No, that sounds a bit harsh. Yeah, They're all great wines. Why don't we just award a first place? No, let's do it. Let's do that one. Let's award a third place and uh, then we'll work our way to the top. So, Michelle, as my, my guest presenter and as a far more attractive part of this uh, combination, you can be um, the award winner. So, let's go. We'll see if I agree with you too. Who do you rate number three? Personally, because I think they're all really good. Mm. The, the least favourite would be the Adelaide Hills. Okay, so third place, Adelaide Hills. Congratulations, but still Adelaide really Hills. good. Very good, yeah. Second place. It's quite tough, really. It is tough. <laughs> it's hard because I actually do have a favourite. Okay. And I re my, everyone, well, if you know me, you know that I love passion fruit flavours. So right. I'm going to have to give first place to Villa Maria, second to... Philip Shaw. To Philip Shaw. And the Daily Hills. But well, that's because I do love that distinct passion fruit. Yep. Hit. Yeah. Okay. Memory. All right. Well, it's clear. Kiwis have done it again. Yeah. You keep thrashing us in the rugby. You smashed us in the Sav Blanc. Uh, but I tell you what. Do you we're agree? Gonna... Would you? I actually do. I do. Yeah. Um, I love to admit it and I hate to admit it all at the same time that Villa Maria. Uh, they really do produce a first-class Sauvignon Blanc. I mean, honestly, I could, I could recommend that and drink that uh, all day. I think it goes with a meal. It goes without a meal. And that's our palate, like someone else. Maybe well, so. Maybe next time we'll get someone else. Yeah. Who may n maybe doesn't yeah. have that same sort of look. And that's wine, isn't it? Um, you know, never let anyone tell you that your palate's wrong or what you love is wrong. Because the truth is, that's the beauty of wine. You find what you love uh, and you drink it. And, and we are big Sab Blanc so, drinkers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we really enjoy our sub blancs, which is why we've, we've done this review. Um, it's interesting, um, I'm a scientist by training before I went into uh, being a vicar. And uh, one of the things I, I know about the, the brain and the way we, um, the, the, the palate and, and the uh, interpretation of, of what we like and don't like is heavily influenced by factors that most wine tasters will never talk about. They'll talk all about the palate. But in some ways, um, other things influence. Like, what, how did you feel today, Michelle? What's your mood been like today? A big question. That is a tough question on camera. Yeah. Have you have you felt buoyant or have you felt average or average, have you felt probably. average? Okay. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, that that influences how well you enjoy. Um, you know. And maybe you go to your favourite when you're in that space. You that's become right. Something comfortable. So maybe we should do another review when we don't know where they're from. Uh, we could do a blind taste. Blind taste. That's actually really interesting because your brain, because you love Villa Maria and I love yeah. Villa Maria and we love the passion fruits. It influenced yes, it what does. we enjoyed. Yeah. But you know the thing I loved is that the Philip Shaw I have no attachment to. I've never yeah. had it before. Uh, I have, other than an excitement about the region, um, I've got no other influence and it, it rated really well. In fact, you know what I'd also say is that the Adelaide Hills um, Wix Estate surprised me. Uh, I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did, and I did and enjoy it. And I'd buy it. that again too, so. Yeah, I would. And, that, and that's something, isn't it? When, yeah. when you uh, enjoy wine and, and you drink wine on a, on a semi-regular basis, finding wine that you, you enjoy and you buy again is, is quite a challenge. Um, and they were all really reasonably priced wines. Um, they were all around the $20 mark, and you can find them all in your major retailers. Uh, so it doesn't get much better than that. The only thing better than that, if it's cheaper than $20, really, if you find a wine that you love, you enjoy drinking it, and you've got company yeah. that you love, that certainly influenced my wine tasting today. Everything tasted better because you were with me in this. Oh, that's just too soppy. Yeah, it is a bit. Sorry. Don't want to make you all throw yeah. up. Anyway, all right, we're going to um, finish it there. Uh, thanks again to Michelle for tasting with me. Congratulations yeah. to the Kiwis. Uh, don't get used to winning. I'm going to bring out some reds soon, and, you know, we all know we're going to beat you in the reds. And don't go to the Wallabies. We're going to beat you eventually. Blacks. See you next time. Bye.